Thomas Hardy was born on the 2nd of June, 1840, in a two-story cottage in the hamlet called Higher Bockhampton. He was schooled by his mother, who inherited a love for literature from her mother. Her teachings and influence sparked Hardy's interest in literature. His mother taught him to read before he enrolled in primary school, where he learned his basic subjects and graduated at the age of 16, ending his primary school days. Throughout this time and his older years, he witnessed the impact of the Industrial Revolution on his hometown hamlet of Higher Bockhampton. Witnessing these changes influenced Hardy to write about the beauty of nature in comparison to civilization and society. Such an example is in Jude the Obscure, where young Jude is lured into civilization, then corrupted by it. April 18th, 1862. Hardy moved to London in order to make a fresh start at life. He had multiple love affairs while in London, all ending in failure. Being unsuccessful with love inspired Hardy to write poems and stories about love and its tragedies. This influence is seen in Jude the Obscure, where Jude has multiple wives, each with unhappy lives, that ultimately lead to consequences within Jude's inner self. After these failures at love, along with a couple failures in the literary field, as in writing stories and publishing them, Hardy decided to move back to Higher Bockhampton, his hometown. Under the inspiration of George Meredith and Charles Darwin, Hardy wrote many stories and poems using his two main themes, love and its tragedies, as well as nature and its beauty, in comparison to civilization and society. In 1878, Hardy published The Return of the Native. Hardy's life experiences, as well as his opinions on such things as society and marriage, were clearly seen in the novels of dramatic events, such as the troubles of adultery and marriage. Society's influence on courtship and what not to do and what to do did not please Hardy. This is seen in both Jude the Obscure and Return of the Native, where marriage is the cause of everyone's problems. If anything had an influence on Hardy's excellent literature, it was his love life. Throughout his life, Hardy had many lovers. One of his first lovers was Tryphena Sparks, a cousin to a colleague of his. They were happily together until she left Hardy due to his distance and commitment to literature. His commitment to literature took up most of his time, making a relationship unstable. Later, Hardy met Emma Lavinia Gifford, who shared an interest in literature with Hardy. They were happily married until her death on the 27th of November. This event plunged Hardy into depression and disarray. These feelings helped contribute to the theme of the tragedies of love, such as in The Return of the Native, where the two main characters die due to their devotion to one another. After Emma's untimely death, Hardy married Florence Dugdale and moved to Maxgate, his home which he designed himself. Hardy died on the evening of January 11, 1928. In his long and uneventful life, Thomas Hardy wrote 14 novels, more than 40 short stories published in four volumes, over 900 poems and two dramas. His work and his main themes of love and nature are timeless and will carry influence as long as his excellent novels exist.